Hey Dexter Lake, I'm Danielle Harvey, your children's pastor, and I am here with our next 365 Devo. I hope you guys have had a fantastic couple weeks of the new year. If you haven't, I hope this word encourages you. We are reading in Ephesians 2, chapter 10 in the NIV. It reads, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. I just want to pause real quick on that and read it again. Created in Christ Jesus to do good works. I don't know about you guys, but perfectionism has been a huge stumbling block in my life. I read this and my brain goes, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to show up perfectly in every space so that we can make him look good. But that's not what the word said at all. God knew that we were going to fumble through this life and that's why he said, I'm with you. That's why he said, you get to press in, you get to pray, you get to have the power of the Holy Spirit alive and active in you. You don't have to do it alone and you don't have to do it perfectly. He set up a whole system of repentance because he knew we were going to get it wrong. He, he built us for community and for accountability because he knew we were gonna get it wrong, but that together we could correct each other in love and that we could go back to the word and that we could do good in the world. He has so many people he wants to win for the kingdom and he wants to use us to do it. So I just wanna encourage you to tear down the lie of perfectionism. You don't have to have the perfect words. You don't have to have the perfect testimony or the perfect life. You just have to be willing to show up and to love others well and to believe that when he says that you are his handiwork, you are. And to believe when he says that there are good works that he prepared for you, that you're brave enough and bold enough to step into those good works even if it doesn't look good in the moment, even if it looks like the same job you've had for 15 years and you're done. Pray, seek him, ask him to show you how to shine a light in those places and in those spaces where maybe you've struggled. And if you need to repent, if you need accountability, reach out, seek, seek the family. We're here for you guys. We want to do this life with you. It is a privilege and an honor to get to walk through this life with others. So I hope you're encouraged today. We will be praying with you. If you have a specific prayer request, go ahead and leave it in the comments or message us on Facebook, and we would love to join you in this journey.